All right, y'all. Welcome back to Recap and Record, episode two. I'm one of your co-hosts, Los, and I'm here with my buddy, Levi McCurdy. Uh, I, I like to call him Levi Sparks. I don't know if he still goes by that or not. It's, uh, it still- yeah, it's interesting. The, those For those who know, you're grandfathered in. Like, if you met me, like, now or in, like, the past three or five years, like, no, you can't. Like, you didn't earn that respect to use, you know, that word in my lot, in my vocabulary. Yeah. But, you know, you're grandfathered in, so you may, you may assure, you may use Levi Sparks. All right, de- definitely, <laughs> definitely. So, we're on episode two now. And, yes. uh, you know, this is, we're, we're trying to be the hottest recap show that's out there. You trying know to I mean? be. I mean, especially for one of the hottest shows. And we are focusing this season on the House of the Dragon uh, Game of Thrones, and uh, man, wow, this episode it really took off, man. Like you know, I, first episode was a good prologue, mm-hmm. and then this episode I feel like it really, you know, that was all about just building. The first episode was all about building just the setting and the, the characters, world, and who who the, who the, in the world, yeah, yep. you know. This one really set off the conflict. Yeah, I mean, now now we're going we're going forward here, and uh, we're just gonna go chronological order, kind of in the episode and. Um, you know, I got some topics here and I'm, I'm going to lead us off here and I'm going to kind of take the lead. And that's that's what you're going to see from us. You know, you're going to see, you know, Levi, take the lead. I take the lead, man. You know, it's a it's a team effort, man, because, you know, we're two like all star podcasters here right. now. It's, it's like the dream team. Well, and that like, was yeah. and, and dude, just like some BTS behind the scenes. That was like the one comment I got from when you and I did our pod swap like last year. Whenever we did that, it was like, hey, this is two podcast hosts like competing for like the top dog spot. <laughs> On both of their episodes because we were both like trying to like have that next whatever that next was because that's just yeah. our nature and that's just our host man but no dude i mean last night you texted me straight away you're like bro i got this episode it's pinnacle yeah. let's go so by all means man uh and i think i think i might have some knowledge to drop here and, and some solid combos too so let's rock with it dope 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 all right so the way this episode starts we get a time jump all right, so mm-hmm. we're six months ahead of of the death of the queen, yep. um, and and the announcement that uh, Rhaenyra is going to be the heir. All right, so they they do a time jump, and we see a a possible war coming, and they they introduce, and we have our first like foreign invader, mm-hmm. um, and it's uh, the Stepstones. They call they call them Stepstones. They call this guy the Crab Feeder, and we don't really we see his face like at the end, or whatever. Yep. Um, but but basically. It's some guy that's trying to like ruin the the shipping lanes, you know what I mean? Things like that. The you know, um, and it's it's getting a little bit crazy. And Corliss, uh, Corliss Valerian, the 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 black the black man in yep. the show, yes, sir. Um, he he's a part of one of the most powerful houses, most one of the most wealthy houses, and he comes in on one. He's like, "Yo, what are we about to do? Y'all talking about getting a new King's Guard, mm-hmm. right? But like, yo, this this is my ship. So I mean, I mean, like, I'm the master of ships, but like." Yo, this is my family, too. Like, this is my livelihood. Like, what's up? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? Then we get into just the conflict, and we're starting to see that, really, this empire is getting a little bit fragile. You know what I mean? Like, just understanding that, like, you know, you got this girl that's an heir. The the, the society doesn't really like it. And nothing really changes for Rhaenyra. She's just a cupbearer. Yep. She's just a cupbearer, man. So, like... At the onset of, of watching this, like, what did, what was your thoughts, yep. man? Like, so, this- so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad when, when I first discovered that this time jump happened. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that we're going in this route because there's so many ways we could have literally taken this next six months, and that could have been season one for us. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Yeah, so, yeah. like, so we're we're moving along quickly. Um, and so, so like we posted uh, on our Twitter account at recap underscore pod. This is the beginning of the end. This is what we're seeing. Um, and, and I'll get to some like future stuff maybe towards the end of the episode that I kind of uh, know about a little bit. Um, but so, yeah, man. And so Rhaenyra, she's she, like, it, it was all rainbows and butterflies for her for about 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. For about 20 minutes. And then we're, we're <laughs> on to the next one. Because baby girl, what do you expect? You expect the king just to be like the bachelor? You want him to hand out roses every night and like maybe pick his favorite girlfriend? from the kingdom to come back and sleep with them for a nightcap like no right. way jose we're hooking up we're getting married and we got to keep this ball rolling you thought you were going to be king like her unfortunately
Lee, R.I.P., uh, her her lost brother that we found in, in season one, heir for the day. Yeah. Uh, Renera was as now deemed uh, heir for twenty minutes. So as the P, as the children of the king go on and on, they become the heir for longer and longer. So hopefully, uh, what we get uh, in uh, episode three will last a little longer than twenty minutes. But uh, go keep going, man. Well, yeah. So, so you know, she we see her in the small council, and she chimes in. I mean, she she has a good a good suggestion. She's like, "Yo, Dad, we're we're dragon lords. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I mean, like we 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 got dragon riders. Like right. we can stomp this problem out right away." Right. And and we see that the king is pussy, bro. Like, and and yep. you know, I don't even know if we supposed to cuss this early in the episode, but like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, yo, algorithm. we see, we see, we see his weakness. Uh-huh. I mean, he's not really ready to jump outside. Like he's not really ready to go into war because they, they live with 60 years of peace. Well, 70 years right. now because he's been the right. king for 10 years. So, so he's not really ready to jump outside and they give her her first real task. Right. And they they let her pick uh, a new member of the King's Guard. And of course, she going to go with her oh, boo. Boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. she going to go with the boy that she like. Uh-huh. And the, the only dude that is battle tested. And that was a that right. was a key thing that yes. she said. She said, yep. and that's what we got to understand about the world. It's peacetime. It's been peacetime for so long. Mm-hmm. None of these guys have been outside for real. They haven't really right. fought anybody. You know what I mean? They, they just jousting and, and looking cute, whatever. And she like, nah, I, I seen boy get busy. Like, like. What's up? You know what I mean? And, and they still were questioning her. They're like, oh, no, no. Because it's all about like, you know, it's the house of cards. You know what I mean? It's, they rubbing shoulders. You know what I mean? It's like, nah, nah, we owe this person this person. And she's like, nah, nah, we're we going to do it my way. You right. know what I mean? Right. So, no, and I think, um, too, that when, when she was choosing and, and him and that whole scene and we saw the other guards from the other kingdoms, right, because we needed one because there's seven kingdoms, we had six, so we need him to fill in that last spot, right? Those yeah. were all, if I'm not mistaken, unfortunately, I don't know the names off the top of my heads, but those were all, like, other houses that yeah. just either fell or came to ruin or that we never saw in, like, Game of Thrones. I know you mentioned yeah. that last week about, like, yo, where, how, how in depth are we going to go with the world of Westeros and the seven kingdoms and the different houses that we see. And there stood in front of us, like, I, I think six to seven houses that we've never seen before. Um, so well, that was some, a, some, we had, we did hear a name that we did her because it was Alan Bondarian. I was like, Oh, that's, that's, he's related to Beric. Like that's, that's somehow that's, right. that's Beric's ancestor or whatever. But like, there's some houses that we never heard of like Malister and, uh-huh. you know, even Cole, like even the guy right. that she selected, that's not even a house that we know, but right. yeah, you're, you're right. Yep. So, you know, she she puts her foot down, whatever. And then, you know, we we see her. She has that conversation with um her. Her. Is that her aunt? That's her aunt. Right. Or is that the, her cousin? The, that's her cousin. The, the that's queen her cousin. to be. Yeah, I think it's 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 right. That's They're, her. Yeah, that's yep. her cousin. Rainice. Yes. Rainice, whatever. Yep. And it's funny because um, and I watched like the after episode, whatever. And it's, it was interesting insight where they were talking about how, like, you know, um, just how 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 men treat women in power, but then how women treat women in power. And mm-hmm. it's like, although she, you know, she was just, she was on the cusp of being the queen and being the ruler, but then, you know, obviously she didn't get it. And now she kind of, she kind of throwing shade on her, on her cousin where she's like, what you expect? You know what I mean, like they not about to, they might not, they, they would rather burn this whole thing down than to let you whatever. But right. it's, it's just, it's just hypocritical because it's like, you would have wanted her support. And I think, I think Rhaenyra would have supported her cousin. Yeah. I mean, if, if the shoes were, you know, wearing the other foot, but it's like, you know, I think it's cause she's older and, you know, she missed her chance. She's the queen yes. that never to never be. Yep. And it's like, you know, and I just thought that was just kind of foul. I was like, ah, whatever. Yeah, but like, but, but, I, and, I think Ra- Rhaenyra is just strong and she's just like, nah, like it's don't worry. I, it'll come. Yeah. Don't worry. And I think, I think right now Rhaenyra is also just feeling out the, the playing field, seeing how everyone else's opinions around her are reflected, like her dad and then her, her relationship now evolving with Damien, which I'm sure we'll get to in a minute and, yeah. and, and the queen to be, and just being like, Hey, so like, what do you think about me being queen? Maybe one day. Day. Like, what do you, what do you think about that? And it's like, and, and then, and of obviously queen to be is just like, is, is stating the obvious and obviously foreshadowing like the rest of the episode. Um, but like, Hey, 
you think your dad's just going to like not swipe right on Tinder a couple times and like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like get it knocked out. And yeah. like, obviously like, yeah, now you're Gucci now, but girl, you got nine months and then we're probably looking at another heir to the throne before you even get anywhere near it. So yes. like, she's just, she's being real with her. Yes, um, yes. And so, you know, that's, that's just another way. I mean, and we've seen manipulation in Game of Thrones before. So, I mean, yes. she very well could have been baby girl. I'm for you. I'm with you. Queen Rhaenyra all the way long live the queen but yeah. you know she's just being straight up like this is how yeah. it is this is yep. how it is yep. so then so then now the it's the quest to find the king some buns you know what I mean? <laughs> we're, we're, trying, we're trying to we're trying you know like you said swiping right on tinder or whatever mm -hmm. and you know we we get a little bit of we we, we have us we have a, a potential person already in episode one and they built into that they built that into the episode well we and, yeah and we touched on that man and we said you know it was a little weird hand of the king was, sending his daughter in there we weren't sure what the motives are but here we are fast forward six months and we get that scene with her and her dad and he you know he's holding her hands and he's like you're gonna you're gonna go see him tonight aren't you you're gonna go yeah. see him you're gonna go see him tonight and like you know that he said that to her every other night for the last oh six God. months like yes. that relationship has been building for six months because this the the fucking right hand of the king put that fucking seed in play six yep. months ago and now he's trying to fucking groom this tree aka heir of the throne yes you know? and i mean and so, so and yeah so but like it's like it seems innocent though. You know what I mean? It seems innocent, but then it makes you, but you're just questioning like, yo, has he been smashing this whole time? Like, you know what I mean? Like what? To, Cause it's, it feels, it feels genuine. It feels like, you know, she, you know, she has somebody to kind of vent to mm -hmm. because she, she experienced that. She lost her, uh, uh, you know, her mom. Yep. Um, but then also it's, it's somebody for him to lean on in on, but then, but then all like you, you don't even realize like obviously we know that what Hightower hit Otto's plans are or whatever, but you're just still wondering, like, nah, it's just like they just chill. Like, at least I was. I was kind of going yeah. naive, like, oh, maybe they're just chilling, whatever. Uh-huh. So but then yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So and then here's here's some just facts about it because I know like it's kind of like that weird topic because the king seems older and she seems younger because it's his daughter's friend. So yes. so in the show, obviously the actor who plays the king is like in his mid forties, okay. uh, so he seems much older on screen as we are seeing him now. Uh, but in the book, storyline tells us that um, Otto Hightower's daughter. Uh, and the king, like she was 26 and he was like 36. So the age oh. gap, the age gap wasn't really, yeah, he was like mid thirties. She was mid, I think she was like 24, 25, whatever. He was and like mid thirties. older than Rhaenyra, but you don't, she might, yeah, like now you say that she does book. seem old, like more mature, but mm -hmm. you don't know. Yeah. You feel like they're best friends. Cause he right. said that Ren is Rhaenyra supposed to be only 15? What, how old is so in the, So yeah, so but in in so in this, so I think in the show, I think they are portraying Rhaenyra and her best friend as like 15, 16, 17. So it's a little off from the books um, just to show that drastic, I think, drama of, you know, TV. It wouldn't look... It wouldn't look as weird if, like, she was 26 and the actor playing the king was 36. Like, that would just make sense to us as people. But, you know, so if we're going to portray them as a little younger to kind of make it that medieval Game of Thrones time, it's okay to marry someone yeah. who who's, you know, allegedly, like, 15, 16. But then it's also, I guess, okay to marry someone way younger than that because we get to... Yes, we get to the, the cousin. The child cousin. And so Corliss and his wife, yep. Rainice, they basically, you know, they they secretly talk to him and they're like, yo, pimping her out. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're the last, we're the last of the old houses of old Valeria. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? The most powerful houses. Mm -hmm. It would be in your best interest if mm -hmm. you marry our daughter. And yep. then it's like, and before, and we don't exist in. Before they explicitly see, because I'm thinking like, oh, maybe they got like mad daughters or something like that, whatever. Because I remember seeing that little girl. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, maybe they got mad daughters. And then it's a daughter then and a son. I think it's it's a daughter okay. and a son, I believe. Okay. And then when you see them walking in the little, you know, the little courtyard, whatever, you're mm -hmm. like, oh no, hell no, hell no. And that's, then she's 12. That's such and she's a only drastic, 12. it's such a drastic difference between yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and and then and <laughs> the little girl says to him, she's like, Yeah, uh, and my dad said, you know, you I, I ain't gonna have to get in the bed with you until I'm 14. And I'm just thinking, like, bruh, like this world is crazy. Little risky, little risky, little risky. But here's what we have to remember. So what we have to remember is uh, about a year ago when we started an 
announcing this this show, we have trailers and we have seen screenshots of her as an older. We will see her as a teenager here in the next couple episodes, like okay. teenager, 19, 18, 20 years old. Um, okay. And she, because of who her mom is, queen to be, uh, she she will be riding her dragon, I believe, at the end of this season as well. Um, so Ooh. we it's not the last we've seen of, of, of uh, his daughter there. So All right. even though so- she wasn't chosen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we'll get to that. We will yep. get to that. But um, so, yeah. So now he he has these options. Yeah, I mean, yep. you know, and then and you're wondering, like, is this it? Yeah, I mean, is this all the options he had? But, you know, we keep going. So let's let's move forward into the episode. So now then we get the appearance of probably the, the fucking craziest character in the show. Dude, he I, might be, I ain't going to lie, because I always like a bad character. Like, I, I like a I like a villain. I like an antagonist like Tywin Lannister, like in you know, Tywin Lannister is my favorite, like literally like my favorite character. Like, like I, other than <laughs> other than the heroes, I, like Arya Stark is the best character to me. Uh-huh. Uh, Jon Snow is up there. Right. But like when it came to the villains. Tywin was my favorite. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I hated Cersei. Like, I, there was, mm-hmm. th- she had no redeemable qualities. Right. Tywin was that guy. And, like, I don't know, Damon, he's, I don't know where he's at yet because we're only two episodes in, but I kind of like I'm him. I like D. when I see I'm him. I'm Team D all the way. Hashtag no homo, I'm TD all the way. Okay. That's all okay. I'm saying. Team Damien, I, yeah. I love, I love his bluffs. I love his yes. plays. I love his, I love his maneuvers, but please continue and we'll get into yes. it more. So we get, we get the Damon drama mm-hmm. now. You know what I mean? So, da- yo, so apparently Damon, he stole a castle. He stole his deceased nephew's dragon egg, and then this motherfucker lied. He lied about uh, possibly getting married and having a baby, and possibly having a baby, whatever. So, yep. like, so, so this causes an uproar in in the kingdom. And Otto High Tower, that is his arch because Viserys, that's his brother. Like, I mean, he's still lo- he always gonna love his brother, whatever. But Otto High Tower. He hates Damon. Like, like he that is his arch nemesis. Right. Whatever. That's because he's in the way. Because he's in the way. Because if, yeah. if something happens to the king and all of his kids, Damien's king, and now boom, Otto's out instantly beheading. Like honestly. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? So and there's and so they, struggle for power. They, yeah. And they and they alluded to, to some of the things that um that Damon did. And I didn't realize that like you know, because he told him to go to Runestone or and mm-hmm. he had another castle in the veil, or whatever. Like, but then this guy decides, nah, I'm going to our, our ancestor home. Right. I'm going to Dragonstone. And I didn't know that that's actually where Rene- that's Rhaenyra's house right yep. now. You know, what I mean, right. that's really where she posted. theoretically owns. Yeah, she as owns a, as that a house. Princess, yeah, that's right. it. She's that's her. You know? Yep. Yeah. So so it, it looks like it's about to go down. And Damon is like, yo, fam, like what, what you want to do and, uh, to Hightower? And Hightower is like, yo, if, if you if we fight right now, it's war like it's and you don't you don't really want that. And then he's just, you know, he's like, nah, like what you mean? Like, you know, what I mean, like I, I invited him to my wedding, whatever. Now, if Viserys would have went there, I think all hell would have broke loose, mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. However. However, he's a pussy. He ain't leaving the kingdom. He's not he trying to go anywhere. Yeah. He ain't doing that. <laughs> he's, he ain't he's, doing that. I haven't even seen him on a dragon. Like, I, mean, I don't even think this man Whoa, knows how to yo, ride a dragon. Guy, this guy, he's going to die. Yo, fam, he has this oh, weird he's, abscess he's on his di- back. Well, we think it's, uh, it's, I think it's diabetes. We think, I mean, it's, it's essentially uh, because diabetes, well, when you have untreated, finger? your, your fingers start going and then they fall off. So we think it might oh be just, God. it's, it's either diabetes or isn't, isn't the story of the mag King. He was like pricked so many times by the iron throne that all the iron from the swords got into his blood and then he just got mercury poison. And that's why he oh, went crazy. No. Oh, isn't that, oh, isn't that it? That might, Hey, that might be some, you know, GRRM type stuff. Yeah, Maybe I mean, like, I'll, you know. I'll definitely look that up, but I thought that was the case. So who knows? if that might be coming because in the first episode we saw him prick his finger yeah, on the, yeah. so it's either that or that finger prick again diabetes there's that relation back there so um, you know and it could also be the first um, the first uh, case of Greystone um, yeah. so which Ooh. which which we'll get to here in a couple minutes okay um, and then and then so so um, you know we got this standoff whatever mm-hmm. and then who who better to come right who better to come swooping in on her on her on her big boy dragon on that big boy dragon, yeah, I mean, because I didn't know what was gonna happen. Because once they, once I saw the clouds moving, I thought, mm. oh my god, like Damon about to like 
he about to set everybody on fire. And right. It's his dragon. And then as soon as they come into play, he's going to like say something and boom, everyone's on yep. fire. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah. But it's Rhaenyra. She uh, comes in flexing. Saving and the she's day. Like, and she's like, yo, Unc, like, you know what I mean? Like, wh- what are you doing, fam? Like, what what are you doing? Like, yo, this is my crib. You know what I mean? You, you stole my brother's <laughs> egg. Like, that's not cool. And like, what's up? Like, if you want... if. I'm in your way. Yeah. Like you, you talk, you, you worry about my dad, but I'm in your way. Like, so what's up? Kill me right, right here. Kill me. And he, 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 you know what I mean? He, she, she calls the bluff mm-hmm. and, and he throws her the egg, whatever. And then now it's, it's like, so does he get to just stay there in Dragonstone for the time being, whatever? Like, I'm you know sure. What I mean? so, I, I'm sure. I don't think, I don't think Rhaenyra has anything to do at, at that castle by herself or any, yeah. any reason to be away from her dad or, or, you know, King's Landing. Right. And and right right after that scene, we find out that he was lying about, like, because mm-hmm. the girl, she had yeah, no she idea. Should. She's she was like, like, wait, wait what? Up. Wait, I'm pregnant? What? Like, I'm pregnant. What? I'm, we, about to, we about to get married tomorrow. Shit, wait up. Like, I, I don't know nothing about right. this. <laughs> and, 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 and there's that there's that underlying thing, because you, you made a joke about it, but like, this, what if Damon can't even have an heir? Like, what if he can't even have the kids? He don't got kids, right? The, he doesn't have kids. Oh, you made a joke about him having sex and he couldn't get it up, whatever. Like, mm. what if what if he can't even procreate? That's why he's lying about it. Yeah. Ooh, that's not a bad take. I'll have to do some research and see if like I, history. I don't know because yeah, because like like because yeah, because all right, because he think about it. Like he's been unhappy with two different women, like you know what I mean, like with multiple different women, whatever. Like, and he still don't have no kids. I he don't have no sh- kid. Like, right. not that we've seen. Unless there's some off-screen kids. He might be shooting blanks. He's shooting blanks out here, yeah. cuz. Like, Maybe. Maybe. You know what I mean? And, and so, so and that's the thing. Like, it's like, you know, he's fighting for all this, whatever. But it's like, it might be all for naught. Because if you can't, if you can't produce an heir right. at all, like, you can't even give us a daughter or a son, you're just as worthless. Like, you're even more worthless than Viserys. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Even if you're, even if you are more powerful, whatever. So, yep. Yep. That was crazy. And yep. then uh moving forward, moving forward, we get we get the decision, man. We get the choice, man. And I, I was like, yo, he yo, so the the Viserys, he talks to Lord Lionel, which I want to know who what his last name is, because I don't know, you know what I mean? But he's you know, he's a new character. We don't know who this guy is, but he's a part of the council. So Lord Lionel, he really breaks it down to him. He said, Yo, like, you know I mean, it probably would be in your best interest to to I know the girl is young, but like, yo, marry, marry Corliss's daughter. And then, you know what I mean? Like, yo, fan, you're going to have the strongest Navy. You're going to have the two right. most powerful houses. Like, it's your best interest, whatever. Yep. And then, and then he goes against that advice. And then we get the announcement. And, oh, man, he, he announces that he's going to marry Allison Hightower. <laughs> and that was, that was, and you tweeted about it. You, I mean, we, it was on our, it's on the Twitter like he not only he ruined so many relationships in that and that one decision, like because right. his daughter didn't even know. Like you right. could tell she didn't even know that they was even no. messing around. And because yeah. because that's what he said to her earlier. He said, "Yeah, don't tell her about our conversations." And that's what I meant. Is like conversation is that innuendo for like don't don't tell her about us. You know what I mean? Fooling yeah. around or or was it just uh, conversation? Listen, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, a a a girl alone in your room every night for six months. What do you think she was doing? Just watching him build his little clay statue figures for six months. Like, I mean, let's yeah, let's be yeah. honest. I mean, either either in depth or very personal, very like getting to know you conversations happened, or of course they were just having sex. Like, I mean, let's it's yeah, it's Game yeah. of Thrones. So you know, well, it's because nothing's but Game of the Thrones, they don't really need the innuendo because they'll just show it to you so that's like that's true. what i wonder that's like true. maybe maybe there is a sense to of to protect his but... daughter though you know I, I don't know i don't know i don't know yeah. it's it's interesting so 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 he makes the decision and mm-hmm. then uh, obviously this sends like cordless he he was there for like five seconds once he announced that he walked the fuck he out stood he up like, Man. stood up stormed off and now is you know he he was ready because i mean he was ready to have this yes. connection to the king this i the iron throne connection connection because i mean who better than his grandson to to rule the uh you know iron throne and his fucking wife was ready because who to have you know her grandson to rule the iron throne as well queen yeah. can never be and like of course they're like the the second are, are they not like they're like the second powerhouse to like the targaryens right they're like yeah they're, they're yes, cousin yes. houses or some 
that relationship. Well, yeah, so, like probably more wealthy, but like the reason why they weren't more powerful is because they didn't they have dragon lords. They didn't have right, dragons. Right, you know I mean, whatever. Right. And um, so yeah, so so what so what would you what did you think he was gonna do? Did you think he was gonna go with Allison? Did you think he was like where was you at? Because I was thinking like yeah, he's gonna. I, I I felt like he should have just did even though he didn't want to be with the young girl. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, do it, it that, would. I mean? think history would have shown that to make sense. Um, but I think uh, I think also too what we have established in the theme of these episodes over and over again is that King is a pussy, and so <laughs> it, it's like you know when when he goes and walks in the garden with his twelve year old, even though she's twelve and her family relations are what they are, and everything else happening and the family ties and all that shit, like you know that conversation conversation in the garden like oh my dad says you know blah 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 like what do you think the king on his first date fresh off a of marriage like wants to talk about the father of the girl he's going to marry like no that's boring and stupid conversation but when allison comes to his room every night because auto high tower was just sprinkling those seeds in the garden yeah just fucking yep. growing those plants and so every night she was getting in extra bonus points you know what i mean yes. and so yes. so i don't think i don't think that you know obviously she had um, a leg up in the race uh, yes. and they just were kind of relying on her heritage uh, to be chosen so um, but I think also too good because she, like she's a little girl um, yes, and I think yes, you know yes. I so, think, so I think we have... so good for that was like probably morally that was probably the best decision sure, sure. for him yeah. for Viserys to make sure. you, know, you know what I mean but in terms of like power in terms of conflict like you might have made the worst decision of of, of that you could have made of course. You know I mean right so then, so then that that's that, and then um, then we have then we get a scene where it's a we see there's a secret alliance. You know what I mean, so Corliss is breaking it down like, and then he gives us like like a little bit of a history of mm -hmm. his family and like where he came from, and then we find out that like he killed he had to he killed his own brother, he killed his brother because he's like yo I had to make my way whatever, and then and it's then what do you know? Here. What do you know? He's talking to Damon. Yep. And of all people, he's talking to Damon. So then, so we see this secret alliance and basically he's just, he kind of lays out to him like, yo, we got to start a war. Like, yo, I know the king don't want it or whatever. He's like, but now, yo, you got to prove yourself as well. So we got to start this war with the Stepstones, man. Yep. We got to get this crab feeder guy yep. out of here, man. Like, and ASAP, yep. you know what yep. I mean? Because again, when we, he's the master of ships, but people don't realize like, those ain't those ain't Targaryens on those ships, man. Those are Valerians on those sh on those ships, man. Those are his people. That's where they. That's what they do. Yes. And, and he's risking he's risking his own people every day. And 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 he 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 has the power, but he he can't pull the trigger because that's the king's job to pull the trigger. So he's like, "Yo, fam, we got to get busy. And if you help me, trust me, bro. Like I, I got you. Like like we we, we gonna yeah. we gonna prove that right. that you're worthy because we're the second sons and the yes. second sons has yes. to make yep. their their way. So they can't, it's nothing's given to them. I'm so glad you said that. The second sons. So so uh, this this war coming between uh, Crab Hammer and everyone else. Rumors in the Twitter sphere are Crab Hammer is a distant second son of a Targaryen uh, that was just, you know, bastardized or, you know, just let go or like, you know, he was never going to be king. So they just kind of forgot about him. Um, apparently there's like a whole like group of like forgotten about Targaryens roaming around somewhere that like okay. no one gives a shit about. And like they're their own, they're their own little like crab army kind of thing. Okay. So, so rumors are he may, he might be a Targaryen. Uh, okay. and secondly, he is our first look at Greystone. Um, it is on his face under the broken. I didn't know. What, I thought that was just his mask. His so script. like the mask is covering the Greystone. Greystone. Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, grayscale, so grayscale, 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 grayscale. My apologies. Grayscale, yes. Yes. Grayscale. grayscale. So he is slowly dying. Um, and so it's interesting, bro, these crab hammers. So they, what do they do? They nail you up to a fucking post yes. right on, right on the edge of the ocean, right on the water line. And then the yeah. crabs come right up and they feed on you. That's why they call yeah, them. Yeah. And I didn't hammer. even know that's what, cra I didn't know crabs were like scavengers like that. Like, you know I, what I mean? I didn't either. It might be a game of Thrones it thing, might be but a, it also yeah. might, you know, I don't, I don't think we really ever get the opportunity to see crabs crabs feeding on dead human flesh yeah, so I, yeah, it, might, it might be a thing but like we just don't know about it because yeah. 
We don't do that in 2022. Yeah, we um, don't do that. We don't do that. So, well, they call they called him a Mirish print. Like, so he must be from Marine, but he's a prince, whatever. So, like, mm-hmm. that's what I'm wondering too. And then, and then they mentioned this word second sons. And I'm thinking, because yes. remember the, the assassins, the second sons. Yes. I'm wondering if the, if there's some origin there, there is. too. Like, yes, the second sons, the second sons in the Game of Thrones and House of Dragons, Song of Fire and Ice Universe is a, a very prominent thing. So this this would be like the first we're hearing about it. And so this will continue like the second sons, um, like they form a group and an alliance and like much like what's happening now. I think this might be the first time that we're seeing um, them kind of come together and be like, look, we're the second sons, bro. Like, yeah, let's let's yeah. rock it. Um, so, dude, I mean, predictions for next episode. Did you watch, like, uh, episode three trailer or not? Well, yeah, all right. So, now, this is where I'm confused, yes. right? So, this is where, so. I, I watched our, it, and I fully understand it. So, by all means, ask your well, questions. Well, I understand it, but yeah. I'm wondering, too, though, like, because, you know, how sometimes shows, they'll show you a trailer, but they didn't, because they didn't say, it didn't say in episode three. Like, it, so there it was, just, there, it, it made, there was it made one. It, well, it made it feel like it was like a, you know, because you know how some shows, they'll, even though it's the next episode, they'll show you some shit way in the future. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever. On this season and, of Game of Thrones or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this season, whatever. So I wasn't sure, whatever, mm-hmm. if it was a episode three, whatever, because what it looks like is that we're going to get a big time jump in the next episode we're not so is that true is yes, that sir. what's happening yes sir so my, oh the time my so, the, so the time jumps the so time he has jumps. a baby he has a baby so the time jump spoiler alert spoiler, spoiler alert episode spoiler three alert. is not even out yet that's why Ooh. recap and record is the best <laughs> podcast because we give you the shit before it even airs on hbo that's already aired, we so we already know no it's okay um, but yeah, dude, no, we get more time jumps. So these episodes, the time jumps will continue. I because, like it though. I because like, like it. remember I said earlier in the episode, in, in some of the early trailers and promo for the show, we see some of these characters who are teenagers now as adults okay. in their twenties, riding dragons, going to battle. So, um, we know that the time jumps, A, will continue and B, yes, next episode we see, uh, we have the heir, uh, of the throne. We have the king. Aegon. We have Little the king's Aegon. son. We have Aegon. Uh, and is I he have, like the fourth, the third? I have the name right here. It is uh, Aegon the second. Wow. Aegon the second we see is a young little lad. And so also in that same scene where we see him. But Aegon the second is not the Mad King though, right? I don't believe so. No, no I, I don't think so. I, don't I think this. So. I think he's like the third one. Or um, no, no. That's as a matter of fact. No, no, no. Matter of fact, the Mad King was Eris. My there you man. go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So in that same, but in that same clip, you were busy looking at the king's son. But what you didn't notice is that his now wife, uh, is pregnant again. Um, oh so God. she, she will be pregnant for with her second child who we know, um, just because of history in the books and everything will be uh, a girl. Um, but oh, then, okay. but then spoiler it again, if you don't watch the stories or read the books, the King and this, uh, his current, his current wife, Hightower, uh, they have after the girl that we see in episode three, they do have two more sons. And so that whole family dynamic will just continue in, in the house of dragons and the story. So, so, but, but I, right, so if this season though, is this, I thought this was about Rhaenyra taking over, but like if, if they're having all these kids. Mm-hmm. She, she. I mean, like the little boy is over her. You yep. know what I mean? The so, little boy. I mean, because yep. he's a boy. Like whatever. So like, what? I, I, I'm confused now. What the yes. fuck is gonna happen? Beautiful. So we see in the next scene of that trailer for uh, episode three, uh, we see the king and Rhaenyra arguing, uh, and he says, "Hey, bitch, you're gonna have to get married too. You're like 16 now. You gotta start popping out little babies yourself. We gotta keep this bloodline going." And she yells back at him, like, "I don't want to get married. I just want to ride dragons and eat cake." But obviously, you know, it's it's history and everything happens, et cetera, et cetera. So we know um, from the books and the timeline that um, Rhaenyra's children battle with uh, the king's children and Queen Hightower. And that is like a never ending. Uh, dragons die. People die. Like that so, is a never right, ending and, battle. And, and you can't reveal who the husband is because I have somebody because I, I, I know somebody that watches the show. Yeah. And, and um, she she has this theory, and because she don't she doesn't even look into nothing like that because okay. she just wants to she just wants to see the show whatever. Yep. yep. She 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 had a theory. She's like, yeah, I think I think Renera and her uncle gonna have a kid, and I was like, ew, 
Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, but I'm like, that's not that's not out of the realm. I but heard, I don't I, I don't think Damon can have kids though. I heard I heard whisperings about a Damon and Rhaenyra relationship. I don't know if when I heard that <laughs> it was a sexual relationship or just uncle niece relationship, like king and queen yeah. relationship. I don't know. Wow. Um so it's a hot take, I think, right now. But yeah, dude, yeah. I think I mean it's not in the realm of possibility. I mean, we see fucking I mean just to keep exactly, everything exactly. and and yeah, who gotta, knows you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta take that word out you gotta take that word out sorry got it yep and you who knows <laughs> who know, uh so who knows where when we we we, we, we had we probably like 36 minutes no, i got it i got it it's no big deal okay yep. right, i'll just make a shit <laughs> so so who knows where that'll where that'll take it because it's i mean it's 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 not out of the realm of anything that we haven't seen before so she might be yeah. right uh i'm not sure I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you know, and that's crazy because, and, and I ain't gonna lie, like she, she, she be on this stuff. Like, like she just has a good mind for TV, and like she's just a good predictor of mm -hmm. things. Uh, you know, co close, close friend of mine, man. And I was like, what? And I was like, yeah, right. Like, come on, man. Like that's crazy. <laughs> but then you never know. But, but, but that would go against because yeah. if she has, that would go against what I think. Because I, don't, I don't think this guy. I think he's shooting blanks out there, man. I don't know. Maybe. Well, and here's here's just another fun fact that I I heard and saw over the weeks that that'll kind of it'll kind of fuck with you. You know, obviously it doesn't mean anything with the episode. Just kind of a little GTO trivia. Bran Stark has already seen everything we're seeing, and yes. knows exactly like what's going on and like has everything to do with what's happening. Yes. So it's just like this. I don't know, mind fuck to deal with time travel. And that's a completely <laughs> different conversation. But yeah, man, dude. So next week, another time jump. I mean, we're going to keep seeing, obviously, Queen Hightower wants uh, to be friends with Renera. We see that in the trailer for the next episode. She keeps wanting to mend that relationship. But unfortunately, Renera just wants to ride her dragons and be queen. Uh, so, you know, that's just going to continue to cause conflict. And I'm sure we will see the son of the king get older and older as time goes on. And, um, yeah, man, I'm excited for uh, next week. Definitely. I'm I'm excited for next week as well. Um, I, just because we're running out of time, I don't want to get I don't want to get too bogged down on this, whatever. But I think next week we're going to I want to talk about the portrayal of of uh, Corliss Valerian and and how it like how they. The, the actor that they chose, how it doesn't match the the fan art and things like that. And we're going to I want to get into that a little bit, like um, because it's interesting to me because um, obviously, you know, obviously he stands out amongst all the other lords there. Right. And then and then but then it's also like, I mean, they, they're using some kind of like tropes and, and themes that make it like it feels like almost like regular life. And it's like I don't I don't really I'm not really feeling it, but we'll, we'll get into that yeah. deeper cool. next week, whatever, man. So. Yo, man, uh, yo, this is a dope episode. I think we, yo, and I think our episodes are gonna be as dope as whatever, whatever they give us, mm -hmm. whatever they give us is gonna be as dope. Yeah, so this right. is this thing is just gonna get better it's, and better. It's exciting. Man. It's exciting. I mean, and I, I don't think I, I half expected episode two to be boring as hell after this episode one we got. But if this is where we're going each week. Let's yeah. keep it rocking because I think next yeah. week we're getting more dragons and fire and. Yeah, like I can't, I can't imagine any filler episodes in this right, show. Right, like you know, right. I mean, you know, you know how some shows do that, but like Game of Thrones don't really right. do that too much. Yeah, we're not right? gonna get a musical episode of all the nah, characters. Nah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no set. You know, like an uh, episode that sets up the conflict. Nah, yeah, I think yeah, we're yeah. just we're gonna keep getting yeah. action every get week all, yep. all the through it. So, um, you know, so you got you got a special announcement for us, man. Take, you know, take it away. man. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Entertainment Earth. Listen, they've got everything Game of Thrones and hot off the truck. They've got House of the Dragon stuff, too. OK, we're talking Funko Pops. We're talking dragon statues. We're talking castle models. We're talking, dude, I mean, everything and anything. So all you have to do is head to Entertainment Earth. It's ee.toys, not Dot com. We're in 2025, people. It's ee.toys backslash recap. R-E-C-A-P. ee.toys backslash recap. And what you're going to do is you're going to be shopping with 10% off, okay? And if you forget and you just Google Entertainment Earth, you're going to use that promo code recap at checkout. 10% off, free shipping over orders that are $39 or more. Listen, man, I've got 
all of the House of the Dragon Funko Pops in the cart. I'm going to use oh, promo wow. code. Oh, yeah. I think, I think I'm getting, I might be getting all of them. It's a bit of an issue here, but if we're going to keep them as a sponsor and keep this bad boy rolling, you're going to need to go to ee.toys backslash recap to afford, so I can afford, so we can afford this Funko addiction. Maybe I'll get Los a dragon or uh, something, something for his son. But listen, uh, Entertainment Earth uh, is where you need to go. For 25 years, Entertainment Earth has been the premier online destination for the latest and greatest toys, the most exciting action figures, and the coolest gifts and collectibles and pop culture has to offer. From television, movies, sports, celebrities, comics, internet memes, and every fandom in between, they drop new uh, products daily and curate their selection so you don't miss out. Whether you're looking for something stellar from a galaxy far, far away with Star Wars or from the streets of Gotham City and DC Comics or everything Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, they've got your back promo code recap at checkout it's 10 percent off the links in the description down below back to the show thanks guys man this guy's a fucking professional man I, I, i'd buy anything from this guy man talking like that man he he was like that was flawless bro like you know I mean? even even with me like my little ad lib like he, he just like i got you i got it um, listen, yeah. I just I said it just on the episode the other day. If I was a, a rapper or singer, it'd be game over for everybody. That's I what I say, just, that's what I said. Da, 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 if I knew how to sing, I uh -huh. would be it would be crazy. Like, uh -huh. you know, but we're 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 grinding in this podcast, you know, yes, arena, sir. this this medium, and, and we about to do it, man. But yo, this was another episode of Recap and Record, man. I'm Los. I'm Levi McCurdy. There we go, man. And uh we'll we'll catch y'all next week, man, for more updates on House of the Dragon, man. Peace out, y'all. Peace.